Yeah, yeah, that's Keb Mo, and this is Live from the Heartland. Welcome. Happy Saturday morning and a holiday weekend to you all. Tax day. We have so much news we had to, uh, we had to interrupt Keb Mo because we've got a lot going on. We have a great show today with uh, David Marienthal, Odette Yusef from BEZ, at Yusef, I'm sorry, Craig Hodges, uh, a return visit from author and favorite Chicago Bull, Craig Hodges. Welcome. Hey, Tom. Hey, Michael. Good morning, morning Katie. Katie. What's happening? Well, you know, as we come through Passover and the Easter holiday weekend, we have a whole bunch of meetings and marches coming up in the next week, beginning on Monday's community forum. The marching season. On the proposed target mid-rise at Sheridan Devon, at Living Water Church at Pratt and Ashland. Uh, there will be a community hearing taking a look at what balanced development, what full participation in development planning might actually look like in Rogers Park, with the context being this proposed development on the Seniors High Rise project at Devon and Sheridan. Also on Monday, Indivisible uh, Congressional Town Hall meeting with Mike Quigley and Jan Schakowsky will be taking place at the Irish American Center, 4626 North Knox, beginning at 6.15. And that marching season that Michael mentioned, it uh, it actually has already started, but today is a big day. Um, we are asking number 45 to reveal your taxes mm -hmm. at, at a minimum. Today at the Daily Plaza, 11 a.m. Science March on Earth Day, April 22nd. Women's March, which we talked to you about last week on Tuesday, uh, the 25th. In and Springfield. In, uh, sorry, yeah, March on Springfield. And People's Climate March, my fave, will be the uh, 29th. That's, Is that here or you got to go to D.C.? You can do it here, you can do it in D.C. All of these are everywhere uh, except for the Springfield March, which is obviously just state regular. We also will have another Immigrant Rights March, and we hope that Chicago's is, again, the biggest outside of L.A. L.A., I guess. Um, May Day March for Immigrant Rights, Monday, May 1st at Union Park. Uh, we also have folks going on, uh, working on the Chicago policing issue. Uh, you're hearing about it because we have a new head of the Fraternal Order of Police. And Further else, to the right than the last guy, uh, apparently. If it's, if it's possible, yeah, uh, unfortunately. And we also have uh, uh, an, the policing advisory panel, which was named by uh, the mayor, to get feedback and one of their feedback days is Tuesday April 25th at our own Sullivan High School um, from 6 30 to 8 30 p.m. there's an online portal as well called policy.chicagopolice.org slash community policing advisory panel comment portal and, and anyway if you don't want to actually face someone and tell them what's your bad story about that was Pegasus police, making that last noise <laughs> Can I just say something quickly about the new head of the FOP? Yeah, sure. Yeah, later. Tone deaf, tone deaf for a city that's paying out three to five million dollars a year in damages mm -hmm. for the few cops that aren't doing their job right. I want to be clear, we are not all anti-cop and know that most of that police force is trying their best to protect community safety. But when you have leadership that you voted in that turns its back on the people, which is what your guy did this week in his first press conference, you got a problem. Well, I'm sorry. We, well, we also, need, we also need for the police that you're describing to stand up and speak up. I mean, you know, those guys who went on a United flight this week, they're Chicago guys. And yeah, they're the Chicago Aviation Police. They're not police. That's, that's the, a misnomer. And what are that they? was one of the problems of the entire event. They had a jacket with police written on it, and that's... That's one of the problems, one of the many, but they are They're security. They're not sworn officers. They're security is what they call it. Oh, well, Aviation in case security. you don't know, the United Airlines uh, tried to put a few extra people on the plane and they pulled Everybody the guy off knows, the plane. Everybody knows, Everybody knows now. But it's pretty, it's embarrassing. There are some people who only listen to our show. Oh, you think? <laughs> <laughs> or don't listen to any of All right, just so you know, the job applications are open now through May 15th for kids from 14 to age 24, um, it's called One Summer Chicago. Uh, it's the one one of the efforts to get uh, our kids a meaningful summer 
work uh, experience. So you can help by telling kids to apply. You can help by offering a job. Look around you and see what needs doing that you can apply, uh, that you can offer a kid a job. Um, one, Chica one Summer Chicago is the name of it. I really encourage you all to let your folks know about it. I like this one you got coming up here. Uh, it says uh, on Facebook, uh, someone contacted us to let us know that U.S. spent $70 million to supposedly kill 36 ISIS militants. Yeah, it was actually $20 million that, that number was badly written. $20 million is still a whole lot of Yeah, help. it's crazy. <laughs> I also want to remind people the participatory budgeting in the 49th Ward. Early voting is beginning. There's one particular favorite project we have, we're going to be promoting, um, and that is the new learning garden at Gale Elementary School. In fact, we had uh, Mr. Boatman, who was kind of founder of this initiative. Anthony, yeah. Anthony uh, unfortunately passed away uh, late last year, right after he had been on the show. And this garden is really in honor of his work and the work that he started to engage students in urban agriculture. And it's really important that this modest amount of, of uh, city resources be used to get this project up and off the ground. There's, uh, very good, there's also um, an environmental town hall Thursday, April 20th, next Thursday at the Galvin Auditorium, Lakeshore Campus, um, that's featuring uh, Representative Kelly Cassidy, Sarah Feigenholz, and Ann Williams. Uh, to to learn, uh, join us to learn more about uh, important environmental topics and what you can do. Towards that end, I want to note that the U.S. Steel spilled uh, hexavalent chromium into Burns Ditch this week. Um, that is a tributary of our beautiful Lake Michigan. Wow. Um, that's a carcinogen. That wasn't part of spring fertilizing? Ta. And uh, I'm just going to ignore that remark and keep going. Spilt or spilt is my question. Or dumped. Whoa. <laughs> this is a rough crowd, people. I'm in this room with these three guys, and they're just, they're just flying at me. Listen, we've got to pay attention, people. This is... No, we're paying attention. So you got to march. You've One gotta final march. meeting, April 26th. <laughs> Network 49 is having an all-members meeting where we're going to talk with each other about what issues and campaigns we want to engage in in the coming year. It ought to be a very fascinating evening, lots of chance for members to talk with each other and with leadership to try to move us on to our next agendas. That's at Potawatomi Park at 7 p.m. Please arrive at 6.45 to sign up because we want to make full use of our 90 minutes together on April 26th. Good, good call. And just one last thing. I, I mean, maybe not. I see my. No, no. I'm just ready to introduce our first guest. All right. Wait. One, <laughs> one last thing. There's a special election. We've told you about it before, but it's Pass now. Off. But it is now next Tuesday. This this Tuesday, and it's important because it's Easter this weekend, and some somewhat less kind of political work will be being done. This is our chance to tell number forty five. His time is short. And where, where is that election? That is the Georgia 6th Congressional District, and the guy who's running is John Ossoff, O-S-S-O-F-F. -F. That's the young dude, right? You, uh, yeah, he is young. Uh, relatively, yes. To me. To, yeah, <laughs> to me too. And uh, you, can, you can make calls, you can send money, you can do both. Um, this, this is where you can make a stand, one of the places.